Okay. Now for the growth and decay. Now for the growth and decay, okay, um, two differential equations that are basic to the study of many growth and decay phenomena are the growth and decay equations. Okay, number one equation, we have y prime is equal to the derivative of y with respect to t, which is equal to k times y. This one, this equation is the growth equation. Growth equation. And y prime, which is equal to derivative of y with respect to t, is equal to negative k times y. This one is the decay equation. Okay, where the constant of proportionality k is always positive. K is the constant of proportionality. Constant of proportionality. And always positive. Okay. There are two methods that can be used to solve the growth and decay equation, the integrating factor method and the method of separation of variables. Okay. Integrating factor. And by separation of variables. variables. Now, to solve the growth equation, we have y is equal to ky. By the integrating factor method, we consider the following step. First step, we have, okay, we said that you want y is equal to ky, then it will become y minus ky equal to zero. This is under the growth equation. Then we have e to the negative kt y minus ky is equal to zero. Multiply. This one is the integrating factor. Multiply by integrating factor integrating factor are e to the negative kt then rewrite rewrite the left hand side of the equation Therefore, we have the derivative of e to the negative kt y with respect to t is equal to zero. Then the next one is find the antiderivative. Therefore, this one is e to the negative kt y y of t equal to zero. Now your y of t is equal to c e to the kt. Kasi di ba magiging ano siya? Uh, pag pag uh, di, inantay derivative natin, ang mangyayari ay integral. Eh, kaya nagkaroon ng C, which is constant. Then solve for Y. Then, the general solution, which is Y, 
is equal to uh, y of t is equal to c e to the k t of the growth equation is called the exponential growth curve. Okay, one can obtain the solution of the decay equation using the steps getting the exponential decay curve of y, y of t is equal to ce. This one is for the decay. y of t is equal to ce negative kt for the exponential exponential decay curve. Okay. Then, for the growth and decay curves, growth and decay curves, or h k greater than zero, the growth And decay initial value have the following solutions. We have dy over dt equal to ky, uh, where y of 0 is equal to y sub 0. This one is y of t is equal to y of 0 e to the kt. This one is under the growth curve. Then, <clears throat> for dy over dt is equal to negative ky and then y of zero is equal to y sub zero. Therefore, this one is equal to y of t one. We have y of t is equal to y sub 0 e to the negative kt. This one is under the decay curve. And for the graph, we have this one is your y and this one is your t. Oh, <laughs> Okay, wait now for the graph. Okay, therefore we have the 
This one is y equal to y sub zero of e negative. Okay, this is pa downward, therefore this one is under the decay curve. And this one, since pataas you have y is equal to y sub zero e to the positive kt. This one is the gross curve. Okay. Para mas lalo natin maintindihan, let us try to solve this one. Pero, wait a moment. Okay. We let n of t this one denote the amount of substance or population. That is either, that is either growing or decaying. Now, if we assume that the derivative of n with respect to t, this one is the time rate, time rate of change of this, um, of this, Amount of substance. Is proportional. To the amount. Of substance present. Then derivative of n with respect to t is equal to k n or d n over d t minus k n in transpose to to the left side equal to t. Remember that your k here is the constant of proportionality. Constant of proportionality. Now, we are assuming that n of t is differentiable, hence continuous function of time for population problems where n of t is actually discrete and in t, uh, integer valued. This assumption is incorrect. Uh, still provides a good approximation of the physical laws governing such a system. Okay, try po natin isolve. Example. Example. Okay, example. Okay. Example equal to initially. has 
Okay, number. And some zero of bacteria. is equal to 1R. The number of bacteria measured to be 3 halves Sub zero if the rate of growth is proportional to the number. of bacteria present determine determine the time necessary for the number of bacteria to double and be triple. Okay. Let us analyze the problem. A culture initially has a number which is n sub zero of bacteria at t is equal to 1r. The number of bacteria measured to be 3 halves n sub zero. If the rate of growth is proportional to the number of bacteria present, determine the time necessary for the number of bacteria to letter A, double, B, triple. Okay. Let n denotes the number of bacteria present. Let n denote the number of bacteria present. Bacteria present at time t. Now, Okay. Since the growth of uh, growth is proportional to the number n of present bacteria, then the equation would be the derivative of n with respect to t is equal to kn. Now, separating the variable using variable separable, we can say that this one is dn over n is equal to k dt. Remember that your k is the constant of proportionality kaya constant siya. Okay. Ah uh, nag ano tayo, uh, variable separable. Okay. Uh, integrate integrate derivative of n therefore the, uh, the integral of dn over n that is ln of n equal to this one is kt since constant ang k the integral of dt is t plus ln of c. Di ba sabi ko sa inyo nang kahit anong gawin sa C, since meron tayong LN, gawin natin siyang LN of C. Okay, therefore, this one, to simplify, we have ELNN is equal to uh, E to the KT plus E to the LNC. E to the LNN. Okay, therefore, this one, pag sinimplify natin, we have e to the ln n is equal to c e k t or we have n is equal to c e k t therefore this one would be our equation now the first thing to do is to find for the c using the initial condition may initial condition tayo ha yung equation natin is n is equal to c e k t 
si E raised to KT with a condition, uh, find for C condition T is equal to zero and N is equal to N sub zero. Therefore, we have N, this one N sub zero is equal to C, then you have E, then yung K natin, uh, times zero, yung T. Therefore, using this one, we have one. Therefore, your N sub zero is equal to C. Yeah, magiging equation natin, we have N is equal to N of T is equal to N sub zero times E to the KT. Remember, your C is equal to N sub zero. That is the reason we have N is equal to N sub zero E to the KT. Now, we all uh, we already found the, uh, the equation of your C, substitute, you have N O E to the KT. Then next, find for K. Find for K. Find for K. Condition at T is equal to 1 and N is equal to yun, 3 halves. Ito. 1 at saka 3 halves. Okay. And T is equal to 1 and N is equal to 3 over 2 N sub 0. Therefore, we have this one. Okay, from the original equation, this one would be 3 over 2 n sub 0 equal to C natin is n sub 0. Ang C, n sub 0. Then, E, K, tapos T is equal to 1. Therefore, this one is 1. one. Okay, therefore n sub 0 cancel 3 over 2 is equal to e to the k. Then mm, e to the k we have ln e to the k equal to simplify natin to ah, to find for the value of your k equal to k where k now is equal to ln of 3 over 2 what is the value of ln 3 over 2 what is the value of ln 3 over 2 calculator plus ln 3 over 2 What is the value of ln3 over 2? 0 0.405. 0 0.405. 405. Wala na kasunod? Meron pa po. 5. Okay. 4 po ulit. Tap, round up mo. 5 po. Uh, 5 po. Ah, okay. Okay. Therefore, we have now the value of your k. The amagic equation na natin, you have n of t is equal to n sub 0 or n muna. n is equal to n sub 0 e to the 0 0.4055t. Okay, this one is the equation. Now, for letter A, the requirement is to uh, determine the time necessary for the number of bacteria to double. Okay, to find the time at which the number of bacteria has doubled, therefore, we have 2 times n sub 0 equal to n sub 0 e to the 0 0.4055t. Now, uh, find for the value of t. Paan na nahanapin ng t? You have what? 0 0.4055. t is equal to ln 
2. Uh, answer kasi to, you have 2 is equal to e to the 0 0.455t. Then ln at 2. Therefore, your t now is equal to ln 2 over 0 0.455. Okay, what is the value of your t now? ln 2 over 0 0.4055. 1.7094 po. Di ang uh, approximately equal to 1.7 hours. Apo. Okay. Now, we have now the value of your T if double. Okay. For letter B, the requirement is triple. Okay. Therefore, we have N is equal to 3 N sub 0. Therefore, we have 3 n sub 0 equal to n sub 0 e to the 0 0.4055t. Okay, cancel. We have 3, 3 is equal to e raised to 0 0.4055t or ln3 and wait lang po. We have LN. We have LN. LN3 is equal to 0 0.455T. Okay, where T is equal to LN3 over 0 0.4T55. What is the final answer? 2.7. Approximately equal to 2.7 hours. Okay, questions? Thank you.